Hey everybody, it's Laura from Hey Thistle Bay. Today is day two on my Stardew Valley Expanded uh, Let's Play. Stardew Valley Expanded is a mod. If you haven't seen part one, please go check it out. Ooh, it's gonna rain tomorrow, yay. Um, <laughs> I am just trying to get everything set up so I can make a lot of money quickly. I planted some green beans. I planted my parsnips. Um, I'm going to try and like power through some things. I need to go buy some other crops soon so I can get the community center set up. Uh, I'm going to need to mine. Like there's so much to do in early gameplay. Um, so lots going on. I hope you enjoy this video. Whoops. Let's, um, where is the water in this map? I don't even remember. Um, okay. Next to my house. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a while since I've played this map. Okay, there we go. Water me. Thank you. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, there's lots of new characters and stuff. Yesterday, or not yesterday, last video that I filmed like just now. <laughs> yesterday in game. That's it. I was like, where am I getting yesterday from? <laughs> Last video, um, we went into the new side woods. It's to the left of the cinder sap farms. Um, we gathered some forage. We saw an abandoned um, farm there, the Aurora Vineyard. Um, just some of the many things that, you know, this mod adds. Of different, you know, kind of expanding on the, the lore, I guess. Um, so I got some mail. Hello there. Just got back from the fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. Let's go get my fishing rod. I'm gonna go this way. Ooh, um, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. So I can check out um, to see if there's any spring onions. So this is Fairhaven Farm. We'll say hi to Andy. Hi, Andy. He notices you, but doesn't say anything. How rude. Maybe we'll go into his house a different day. We're on kind of a bit of a timeline today. Let's go down here. So, as you can see, like, it just blends right into the normal map. So this is usually where spring onions would be if there were any. And I don't see any. So I think no spring onions yet. Um, we have, so Pelican Town is above us. Fairhaven Farm is to our left. And Blue Moon Vineyard is to our right. That is where we're going. We're going to stop off and say hi there. And then we're going to keep trucking. And it's going to bring us to the beach. Okay, Blue Moon Vineyard. Let's say hello. Sophia, eek, a stranger. She's very shy. Um, aren't you Birdie, the new farmer? Sorry, I get a little nervous around people I haven't met before. My name's Sophia. I'm the owner of Blue Moon Vineyard. Um, I'm gonna peek into her house really quick, but she is like a gamer, anime nerd. Um, so Settlers of Ferngill, um, set up for three players. It's dusty. Um, She's a cosplayer. Um, it's a large collection of different fabrics. Costume design guide, cosplay applications. I was like, I know she's a cosplayer. Like, how do I know it though? You take a look at this sheet of paper and see notes of complex stitching patterns. Yeah, so she's pretty cool. I haven't really like, I think initially I romanced her. Maybe, oh, I can't go that way. Interesting, that's different. Can I go to her basement? No. No. Yeah, well. I think I romanced her like initially when she was added. Um, Cause Stardew Valley expanded didn't always have new like locations and NPCs. Um, what's down this way? Yeah, this is how we get to the beach. Cool. There we go. Yeah, it didn't always have new characters. Um, so when like, she was first added, she was definitely one of the very first ones. I think it was her and Victor got added at the same time. Um, I did like kind of romance her then, but haven't really since. Oh, hi there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to find the meet ya. Smoking's bad for you, Willie. Still trying to unwind from a mouth out on the salty seas. Oh, what is he smoking that he's unwinding? Uh, it was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Okay, think about this. He's a professional fisherman who owns his own fishing shop routinely goes out on long boat trips and all he has is a beginner rod. There's only one below it. It's a trainer rod. 
Like, he literally, like, has, like, a Walmart fishing rod. Um, like, I'm just saying, it's kind of wild to think about. Oh, so see, this, like, splits the map, so Blue Moon Vineyard is this way, and Beach Town this way. So if we had come the other direction, that's where we would have come up from. This gets added in, like, a few days or so. Let's go say hi to Gunther. This is the community farm lot. Um, no one's there, but um, sometimes Leah hangs out there. Look how pretty these look with like the little glass cases added. This is part of the mod. Um, <laughs> not a single piece in the entire collection. Can you imagine this guy opens a library in a museum? Or like maybe he has the library first and he's like, I'm going to expand and open a museum. Nothing there. Well, I suppose he's got some things, but still. <laughs> it's just kind of sad. It's like Animal Crossing too, right? Massive museum, all because you donated like 12 things. <laughs> like, who opens a massive museum with three wings for 12 things? Or like, oh, you found a single painting? Better open a massive painting wing. That makes sense. Who's funding this? You know? No. <laughs> None of the items except the, like, gems and stones and stuff, none of them are worth any money. So, of course, I'm going to donate it. I don't need it. Um, okay. So, usually I'll keep this one on the bottom here as gems, these two. Like, in some of those ones. So, let's start. Um, okay. There's, like, a pattern I follow. I think this one is bones. These ones are like random, the random other items. And then these four are like gemstones and stuff. Oh, you can rearrange the collection. That's nice. Archaeology done. 250 gold. Okay. Let's introduce myself. Thank you, a stranger. Mom says not a stranger. Not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Penny is someone you can date if you. I just realized, like, I assume people here would have played Stardew Valley, like, in general. Um, oops. Can I not read? There we go. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow. Crops will die as soon as the season ends. Same cro some crops need to be harvested with a scythe. Cool. Um, anyways, yeah. I always am assuming here that, like, people have played the regular game. Um, but if you haven't, I highly recommend it. It's so much fun. Um, I've already met Clint, so I can skip him. Um, I love Stardew Valley. Um, the expanded mod is great, but, like, also the regular gameplay is just so cool. I just love the expanded mod because it's nice to, like, explore the mod, um, like the modded world because it just adds so much and it really does feel like it's the regular game some mods add too much you know um this is olivia and victor's house they are rich if you could not tell um let's check yeah okay so i have npc map locations turned on so let's figure out where everyone is um who has a present next to our head whose birthday is it I'll have to go check the map in a second. So Morris, Pam, Shane, and Martin. So I haven't met Martin yet, so I can go meet him. Um, I'm in the Jenkins residence. Emily, Jody. Oh, it's the uh, the workout day. Let's go there first. Okay. I don't want to give a gift to Morris. Won't lie. Um, I accept all quests. If I get to them, I get to them. If I don't, I don't. Um, okay. Let's meet everyone working out. Hi, Jody. Hello, Olivia. Hello, Caroline with the green hair. Robin. Marnie. Hemp. George. My name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. Yeah, that sounds about right. I should meet Harvey, though. Hi. Oh, I'm totally gonna barge in on their doctor's appointment. You ready? You ready? Hey. Welcome to the community, dear. You can call me Granny. 
It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. <laughs> oh, I'm so sometimes he yells at you. He's like, please get out of there. We're doing a private doctor's appointment. <laughs> I was kind of hoping he would. It's really funny when they get mad at you. Because it doesn't actually, like... That doesn't affect your gameplay. There are some things that when they get mad at you, that it does affect. Um, so, like, if you are in a cutscene and you respond the wrong way, they can basically hate you afterwards. Hey, Martin. Nice to meet ya. I'm gonna say hi to Shane, because I love him. He doesn't seem interested in talking. That's okay. I know I said in the last video that you should tell me in the comments who I should romance. But I'm just going to tell you, even if you guys don't choose Shane, I'm still going to talk to him a lot. <laughs> I love him. He's great. Uh, sorry. Whoops. Oh, is Sebastian? He's in the house. Demetrius is out of it, though. That's okay. Alright. Spoiler. Dwarf's there. Okay. Let's go this direction. Ooh, ooh, keep that, thank you. Hi, Demetrius. Greetings. I bet Sebastian is hiding in his room. I think I just missed him. I think around like three something, he goes to the kitchen. Boop, boop. Yeah. No dice. Sebastian, I just want to say hi. Ugh, okay. He's always a hard one to track down. Who's left? Oh, I can meet him in a second. Okay, okay. Cool. I think with the expanded, like, you don't have to meet everyone to meet the criteria. It just gets you to meet, um, introduction, 31 people. No, that sounds wrong. Maybe it is, like, adjusted. I think it's less than that in regular gameplay. Okay. Well, let's go down and try and track people down one by one. So, where's Haley and Sam? Haley is in her house. Sam is down there. Ooh, and Elliot's down at the bridge. Let's run, run, run. Elliot's another one that's hard to... Because he's a writer, so he just basically sits in his house all day. Kind of jealous, won't I? She says that she's sitting in her house all day. <laughs> Not writing, though. Playing video games. Ooh, ooh, I see another person. Hello. You're the new girl. I don't know why, like, Alex drives me up the wall. I've romanced him. I've romanced all of them. But, like, no, Elliot, get back here. Got him. You know what I mean? A little cabin by the beach. It is a very cute cabin. Won't lie. Okay. And Sam. Hello. Good to meet ya. Let's see if Haley is in her room. Ooh, in the kitchen, in the kitchen. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Who's left? Okay, so we have Sebastian still, that's fine. Leah will be at the saloon probably now. Um, Victor. Leah's not at the saloon. What are, what are Penny and Leah up to? Poor Maru, she's getting cheated on. Um, side note, in case you didn't know. Penny and Maru, where is she? Yeah, at home. They are a couple. They sit on the bench together and hold hands, and it's adorable. They don't actually, but, like, they do. They're a couple. Just, they just are. Um, okay, so we need Leah. She often comes to the saloon, so maybe she'll come in a little bit. I don't remember what time it triggers. It uh, looks like Victor's just outside of Jojo Mart, so it's easy. Um, Sebastian is still in his house. Um, it's gonna lock up. It's, it is locked up. Um, so let's... Let's go hit up Victor, at least. And then we'll circle back to Lita. Yay! 
Bacon supper looks like it. Victor, pleasure to meet you, Birdie. Thanks. Uh, Leah, Leah, Leah. You're still at your house. Okay, so I can't really meet you there. Uh, who's left then? Sebastian, Leah. Oh, basically that's it. All right. Let's go waste some energy chopping wood and stuff. We need to get the beach bridge unlocked. All right. It's raining today, which is great. I forgot about that, so I put the watering can in my inventory. That's okay. It's going to be sunny tomorrow. Spirits are feeling neutral. Okay. So, what we need to do... Oh, we want this. And we want the wood. Because we're going to go unlock the bridge. It's Wednesday, so we can't buy any more seeds. We're, you know... Let's see. I think it's only 100. Perfect. So we want to bring our hoe and our bamboo pole. And we're going to bring maybe a leak for some energy. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. We're going to head this way. Always going the most roundabout way. Oh. Stone. Useless. Thanks. Love that for me. Okay. So we're at the beach. We're gonna excavate some stuff. Collect this. Uh, the beach is a really good place for grinding for things um, in early game. A. It's raining, so it's always a good plus. B. We're right next to Willy's shop, so as long as we time things right... Oh, it's 300 pieces of wood? R.I.P. Whoops. Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh no, Willie, why aren't you at your shop? <laughs> Does this shop only open at 9? Okay, well. <laughs> Fishing in the game, like, next to the shop is nice, is what I was gonna say. Because you can just go and sell it. So it's really nice to be able to, like, collect... And sell and collect and sell versus when you're collecting things in other places you might have to then like transport it back somewhere or like worry about oh shit worry about storing it um when I mean, you only have 10 spaces in your inventory oh it's, the first time is so difficult <laughs> sunfish thanks so I'm just going to grind for some fish. Um, I will probably speed through this part, but we'll work on something next. So I'm going to bring Pam the seaweed. Let's sell off some nice fish. All right. Got a good amount of money. That'll be great for tomorrow. We're going to buy a bunch of seeds. Yes, Sebastian. Hello. Nice to meet ya. Let's donate these things and we'll track down Leah. And I think that might be it. Oops. Introductions. 30 or 31. Leah. Yeah. Certain people don't count, technically, even when you meet them. Bone. Also, yes, I see this. We're going to explore that. Not right now. <laughs> Let's find Pam. Yep, she's at Georgia Mart shopping. Oh, oh let's meet Claire. Hello, Claire. Nice to meet you. Howdy, kids. Staying dry. Here's your seaweed. Booyah. 60 gold. Uh, hello. Hello, bestie. <laughs> I 
you get less points, like friendship points when you talk to them when they're working, but like, I'm just going to talk to Shane whenever I can. <laughs> um, let's see, did I meet, no, still going to meet Leah. That's where I'm looking. Leah's at her cottage. I'm going to see if I can get in. I don't think she lets you in. Hello, Abigail. Hello, Sam. Ooh, what do you think your new song should be about? Farming, mining, and chopping wood. A city in the sea trains. I think a city in the sea. I love his, like, band. His whole band um, storyline. That's what I'm looking for. I love it. I think it's so cute. Um, Leah, I hope you leave your house. I know it's raining, but if you could leave your house, that would be great. The sculpture Leah's working on. I wonder what that'll become. Isn't that cute? She's got a little crop area. Adorable. Oh, Andy. I don't know what you should do, man. I guess I need to chop some wood, is what I need to do. Good thing I still got a bunch of energy left, so that'll be good. We'll power through here. Chop some wood and that way I'll be ready. I think after rainfall, I don't know if it's after rainfall in summer or after rainfall in general, um, more shells and stuff wash ashore. So that'd be cool. Um, you go there, you go there. I need that, that. Then go, go. Let's clear some of this stuff. Because I'm going to need to be able to get through to the top section soon. I know these aren't blocking the access to the top section, um, but like, kind of, whoops, I want this way. So like basically the top section you go up here, there's like a big open space here, Oop. and then that's how you get to the top. Um, so I guess I could just clear that, that could be what I work on, but chopping trees gives you more wood than just chopping a single log, so I like to collect wood using trees. Alright, so I've collected as much wood as I can for today. I'm pretty much exhausted. I'm not going to bring the hoe with me because I will accidentally use it. Um, we're at 197, so we're about 100 away from being able to build the bridge. Um, but we're just going to head to the saloon because I just saw on the map that Leah is going there. So we're going to meet her and that'll be our last person we need to meet. Afterwards, the next like part is going to be like giving them a present, but I'm not too stressed about that. Um, Leah, whoops, wrong way. Hello, Leah. Perfect. Hi to everyone. Oh, I already said hi to you too much apparently. And yeah, I think this is where I'll end it. I've met everyone. Um, next part is going to be getting the community center unlocked and um, working on that, I think. But for now, I think we'll, we'll close her up. Um, it's a bit of a gross rainy weather day, but that's okay. I hope you all have a great day and it's not too gross weather where you're at. Let me know anything you want me to do next time, um, any people you think I should talk to, any places I should explore, uh, and have a great day. Bye everybody!